Welcome to Impact with AI. I'm Brandon Andrews, your host. I'm excited to dive into another conversation with an entrepreneur using artificial intelligence to impact the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Today, I'm joined by Reggie Pablo from Revolve in the Philippines. Reggie, thanks so much for joining us today. We'll be discussing his business and how he's impacting SDG 6, clean water and sanitation. So Reggie, how are you and Revolve delivering impact? Uh, Revolve is a social enterprise in the Philippines. Basically, we uh, produce products made from recycled PET bottles. You know, uh, right now there's a recent study which say, states that the Philippines is the number one contributory of marine plastic waste. Uh, 36 percent mm-hmm. of marine plastic waste that uh, goes into the ocean are coming from the Philippines. So this has to be addressed, and this is my mission for the ball. Wow. Thanks so much, Reggie. It sounds like Revolve has a lot of positive potential, especially as we think about SDG 6, clean water and sanitation. So tell us, how exactly is Revolve supporting Sustainable Development Goal 6 to ensure that clean water is available for everyone around the globe? Uh, There are a lot of uh, ways that uh, Revolve is trying to address uh, SDG 6, uh, which is clean water. Number one, when we recycle PET bottles, uh, we eliminate or at least reduce the uh, plastic waste that goes into oceans and rivers. And, you know, uh, when they go into, uh, when this pet bottles goes into the ocean and rivers, uh, they create thermoplastics when they are trying to uh, break in. So uh, they affect Mm -hmm. marine life, and they uh, affect the quality of water. At the same time, when Mm -hmm. we recycle the PET PET bottles and turn them into fabrics, we reduce the number of uh, uh, water that is being used, for example, uh, for cotton. Cotton uh, 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 consumes a lot of water, so by uh, introducing PET uh, fabrics, we reduce uh, water consumption. At the same time, uh, we also uh, uh, eliminate wastewater that is usually used for uh, uh, production of uh, fabrics that are using virgin polymers. Hmm. Wow, wow. Well, it sounds like what you're building is completely aligned with that goal of ensuring that there's clean water available for people around the planet. We definitely don't want microplastics and other things in our water and your process of removing the plastic from the water and then finding a way to reuse it and create clothing. The clothing, uh, which that process actually uses less water than creating cotton, that sounds like exactly the kind of thing that we should be doing, Reggie. Now, Reggie, we'd love to hear this is impact with AI. How are you or how do you plan to use artificial intelligence to deliver impact with your company? Uh, artificial intelligence is a, a big uh, boost for uh, recycling PET bottles. We can, uh, mm-hmm. uh, through AI, we can be more efficient in our uh, processes. We can, uh, for example, uh, for uh, demand forecasting, uh, we can predict uh, what kind of uh, clothes, clothing, or uh, any products that uh, consumers might be uh, in the lookout for. But uh, especially for the mm-hmm. process, AI uh, makes our processes more efficient, uh, less cost, mm-hmm. and uh, more effective. Got it. Got it. Well, it sounds like you're using artificial intelligence technology, and it also has the potential to really help you as you continue to scale up your production uh, as you're collecting this plastic waste and putting it to better use, recycling it, reusing it. Now, Reggie, it's time for the big question I'm asking all of my guests. Do you believe artificial intelligence can supercharge the UN Sustainable Development Goals? Oh, yeah, I strongly believe in that, that uh, AI would really uh, deliver and uh, uh, sustain us and 
make SRSDGs more attainable uh, through AI. I think uh, there's nowhere to go but uh, to use AI and uh, help us uh, achieve our, our goals. Yeah. Now, Reggie, I'd love to hear a little bit more about you and your background. Where are you from? How did you get to the Philippines? And uh, what made you start the business uh, that you're uh, running now? Well, uh, I'm uh, passionate about uh, environmental issues. I'm a professional mountaineer. Actually, I'm one of the first Filipinos who summited Mount Everest. And one of my inspiration wow. is uh, also a world renowned mountaineer, Ivan Chenard of Patagonia. So basically, uh, my mm -hmm. business model is part patterned after uh, his brand and uh, his lifestyle and everything he does. And hopefully, uh, you know, I could uh, make an advent here in the Philippines. It's a, a bit of a struggle and a challenge. But I'm uh, determined to succeed. And uh, hopefully one day, uh, my brand will be a uh, world known similar to Patagonia. Wow. Well, that sounds like a great goal. So you are a mountaineer environmentalist and technologist that is pushing us forward as we talk about United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 6 and using artificial intelligence, using this new technology to support these goals. Reggie, how can people learn more about you or connect with you and Revolve online? Uh, they can find me at uh, LinkedIn, Reggie Pablo, and also Facebook. Uh, I have my own website, although it's a work in progress. Uh, it's uh, www.revolve.com.ph. Uh, and uh, you can also mm -hmm. find me in Google. So uh, I'm quite uh, uh, known here in uh, this part of the world. You should have started that. You should have just said, Google me and you can find <laughs> everything. I'm sure, I'm sure people will be very, very uh, pleased to read some of the interesting stories yeah. about your mountaineering journeys and, of course, about your life more generally. Reggie, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes of your very precious time to talk about how artificial intelligence is impacting UN Sustainable Development Goal 6. Congrats to you and your team on what you're building with Revolve. I'm excited to see your company continue to grow and, of course, your impact continue to grow. Thanks, everyone, for joining us for another episode of Impact with AI. I'm your host, Brandon Andrews. If you'd like to see more of these conversations, visit impactwithai.media or subscribe to our playlist on YouTube. See you next time.